This black widow spider was eaten by one of my Venus flytraps inside of my carnivorous plant garden a little bit over two and a half weeks ago. But now the trap is reopened up and we're going to go ahead and take a look at what's left over after the trap had consumed the spider. This large female was an absolute tank and undoubtedly one of the largest spiders that my traps have captured and consumed this year. The trapping was almost a perfectly clean catch but the spider did manage to get one little tip of her leg sticking out of the trap. This is what the plant currently looks like after two and a half more weeks of growth but unfortunately this will probably be one of the last times you see her for at least a couple of months. This is because these two large flower stalks are getting really tall and I plan on breeding this cultivar with my B52 this year and I don't want to risk breaking them off. This is what the spider looks like inside of the trap after it opened back up but it's really hard to get a good view of it so we're going to go ahead and cut the trap off to get a closer look. For a good pruning technique we're going to go ahead and cut the trap just below the head and this is because the flat part of the leaf that's still green can capture sunlight for photosynthesis. Whenever you're going to make any cuts to your plants, you should always make sure that your scissors are sterilized and this will cut down on transferring any systemic issues from plant to plant. Now that this trap is cut off and much easier to inspect, we can see that even though the spider's leg was sticking out, neither side of the trap had any digestive fluids leak and there were no burn marks to the outside of the leaf. All that remained of the spider was its exoskeleton as the digestive fluids broke down every soft portion of the spider for the plant to be able to consume. If you take a look at the legs, you can almost see straight through them as there's nothing left in them, they're just a shell, and the giant abdomen that the spider had was almost flattened to completely nothing. To make sure that none of the spider goes to waste, I'm actually going to go ahead and feed the remains of the exoskeleton to another one of my carnivorous plants in my collection. This is my Nepenthes vicii, and this is the trap portion of the plant.